Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we can have a look at the latest on the live radar from for the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days. As you are going to see changeable conditions, some rain at times, some thicker cloud, but also plenty of sunshine and drier weather. Temperatures generally hovering though around average or below average with more of those below average conditions further north and westwards closer to the jet stream, the wetter conditions and the generally cooler conditions. As we head into early July, this sort of pattern is looking likely to continue. But as we see on the longer range runs, there are hints from around the 8th to 10th of July, as we head into the second full week, we could be seeing something more sustained in terms of drier conditions, allowing even some warmth or heat to start to build. Over the past few days, we've seen it from some of the operational runs, some hints, some tentative signs, and that does continue today, especially within the ensembles, which are now more confident of an above average period in terms of temperatures. We are seeing some quite wacky runs starting to appear, some very hot runs. Uh, again, that's how these sort of things do start, not guaranteeing anything amazingly hot, but that's how these things start with uh, a few anomalous runs slowly building. And that's what we are starting to see at the moment. Uh, so yeah, we'll explore that in the second half of the video. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Now, as we started the live radar, we did see a weak weather front move through this morning. Still some remnants of rain and cloud across the far east. Again, mostly light. Um, and between these areas of cloud and rain, we have got plenty of sunshine, so it's not too bad. We have out to the west, got some more rain moving in. Again, it's weak weather fronts associated with weak areas of low pressure. So it really isn't, isn't anything to shout home about, but it definitely is. Uh, it is, not, of course, not as good as sunnier conditions. Now, the temperatures today are cooler, and that's because of that weather front that has spread through, bringing in slightly fresher conditions. But it is still, of course, midsummer, so we are still going to see generally temperatures uh, still feeling relatively warm. And you see, still getting to around 20 degrees in the far south, and temperatures high teens, where we do have more sustained sustained sunshine further north, but nowhere near the mid to high 20s that we saw last week, and that looks unlikely to return at least for the next week or so. Now, if you go over to the latest UKV, you can see that rain heading through today, light and patchy in places. And as we head into Monday, we could see some more organised rain across Scotland for a time. But again, it doesn't look particularly heavy uh, and it doesn't look particularly widespread either. That does spread through and uh, for Monday afternoon, the first day of July, bits and bobs of rain. I think the biggest thing most people will notice is probably just some generally thicker cloud, but still a few outbreaks of sunshine here or there. As we head into the 2nd of July, this is Tuesday, again, generally dry day, especially in the east, but a few showers pushing in from the west, again, mostly light uh, and fairly scattered. And then as we head into Wednesday, we see a, a large area of rain. Again, it looks pretty light to moderate intensity, not too much yellows, oranges or reds within this, which are the heaviest sort of uh, pulses of precipitation. And it does move through fairly quickly through Wednesday morning, lingering into the afternoon as some thicker cloud, light to drizzly rain. So hopefully majority of that moves through in the early morning, but it could linger in places through the late morning into the afternoon. And then as we head into Thursday, we see actually generally brighter, sunny conditions, especially further southwards, but a few showers further north as in the same can be said for friday so you can see it is fairly changeable this week not bone guy dry conditions but for most we're still going to see plenty of dry conditions some rain at times but nothing too heavy and i think the biggest thing we'll just see is generally some thicker cloud this week now if we look at the temperatures they are going to be up and down you can see through today temperatures hovering around the 20 degree mark in the far southeast so actually around average or below average in many areas maybe high teens further northwards but of course with the sun around it still feels fairly warm as we head into monday the first day of july is actually a pretty cool start for july where average temperatures in london uh, the average high sorry should be around 23 or 24 degrees not seeing that, seeing maybe 21 at best. So not miles off average, but definitely still below average with some rain and cloud further northwards, maybe even low teens. 
into Tuesday. Again, could see temperatures rise to around 20 to 21 degrees. But again, with that cloud and rain moving in from the west, it will hold it down in places. So some areas will be chilly at times this week. But of course, whenever that sun gets out, temperatures will skyrocket up to around 20 degrees. By Wednesday, with that more widespread rain, especially in the north and the west, it is cooler, maybe could touch 19 or 20 degrees, but still, for most, it is in the teens. And then as we head into Thursday, starting to rise a little bit more, and that's all due to the fact that we have more sunshine, again, 23 or 24. So you can see the sunniest, driest day of the week uh, at the moment, which looks like to be Thursday, you can see it is pretty stunning outside with temperatures into the low 20s, especially across England and Wales. So you can see it's not too bad. Things can change very quickly depending on the cloud and rain. But you can see the overall theme for this week is nothing amazing, but nothing too bad either. Now, if you do have a look at the long range, if you start on the latest GFS, which has shown some strong hints of something warmer hotter perhaps and dry into the longer term you can see some areas of high pressure trying to build in over the next few days but more lower pressure coming in off the north atlantic but still weak areas of low pressure since that second week of july though we start to see high pressure building in and it builds in here from the latest gfs the only caveat is that the air mass isn't insanely hot it's around average for the time of year so temperatures would likely be in the mid 20s but not much higher the heat is still to our south and because the jet stream is still riding over the top of the high it never allows it to get far enough northwards or eastwards to drag up a south southeasterly wind which would be required for something very hot so it gets warm it gets temperatures into the mid 20s maybe even higher 20s but doesn't get anything higher than that and that's because those hot air masses stay across the mediterranean and never venture northwards you can see here we hover around average mostly above but sometimes a little bit below the well above average air across the mediterranean north africa never quite gets our way unfortunately so warm dry but not getting quite hot at this stage but as i'll show you from the ensembles there are runs that are getting it pretty hot indeed now if you look at the latest gm out to day 10 again higher pressure coming and going some stronger low pressure there through wednesday we need to keep a close eye on that some tighter ice bars there could be a pickup in winds during the middle of the week but then as we head into the following week we do start to see high pressure building in now low pressure is out to our west high pressure is more to our east this could allow a southerly flow to develop right at day 10 it's not amazingly warm uh, it is turning drier um, we'd have to wait another couple of days to see if that southerly really gets going but it could be very interesting indeed you can see some warmth is building across much of the area, much of southern europe and north africa and it could be heading our way we'll have to wait and see but yeah gm isn't amazingly dry or amazingly hot but definitely showing the synoptic pattern that could give that in the uh in the medium term you can see here the jet stream is diving southwards and if it heads northwards again that's where we could see it pick up a big plume of heat so again i have to keep a very close eye on that if we finish by looking at the latest ecm wf again the high pressure trying to return but more low pressure arriving during the middle of the week it does spin up quite a deep low there or fairly strong low by next weekend again i have to keep a close eye on that does look like there'll be an active few days of jet stream activity later this week where we could see um, those lows spin up a bit more UKV didn't show it too much but it definitely is a possibility here then as we head towards day 10 we do start to see higher pressure build in but really only just clearing the lower pressure so definitely no idea is dry or as warm as the other two runs a little bit regressive from the ECM WF but again we'll have to wait and see now after you finish by looking at the ensembles you can see this well reflected cool around average or below average over the next week or so with precipitation but nothing too massive and then around the 8th to 10th of july we start to turn average to above average and the majority on solar members are now average or a couple of degrees above average getting towards that 10 degree isotherm quite a few runs getting towards 10 to 15 degrees which would start to push the mid 20s or high 20s and then we are seeing more and more runs showing high teens or even 20 degrees at 850 hpa which would be pushing into the mid 30s or high 30s if that came off and the fact is there aren't many here but it is increasing it's the trend that we have to watch definitely giving a good impression the possibility is there 
of something much hotter as we head into the middle of July. And you can see the overall warming trend here is fairly apparent. Still moderate amounts of precipitation, so it doesn't look bone dry. And again, that's most likely due to the fact that warm air from the majority of ensemble members is heading that way, but they each ensemble member goes about it slightly differently. Some under higher pressure, some with a more of a kind of a Spanish plume, which can be quite thundery uh, and could be unsettled in the breakdown. So those sort of things will get ironed out near the time, but it's all eyes on whether we do see that very warm, hot air that we have seen in some runs recently. Does that waft northwards? Does look like that trend is continuing today from the GFS ensembles. If we finish by looking at the latest ECMWF ensembles, we do see something broadly similar below average over the next week or so, and then it turns warmer into around that 8th to 10th of July point onwards. Now again, it goes around average or slightly above average, but nowhere near as many runs going 15 degrees or above, so we haven't got as many anomalously hot runs. Again, most likely because the ECMWF is less amplified, so it brings in warmer conditions, but it doesn't bring in uh, hot conditions, doesn't really drop a southerly wind. That's what we saw from the operational run. It is building a bit of high pressure in, but nothing massive, and all due to the fact that there's less amplification, less allowance for that high, that, that is so a smaller gap, that high pressure to move and fill and build in. So we'll have to see exactly how it does develop into that longer range, but just like the Eastern DF is a little bit more moderate, it's a little less bullish. Could mean the GFS is wrong, ECWF could be right, but at the same time, the GFS could be the one leading the way, and the ECWF could follow suit in the coming days. It'll be another interesting watch, uh, and I know a lot of people are looking forward to something again hotter, drier, and there'll be plenty of people looking forward to some thunderstorms from what I can remember so far of this summer and late spring. We've really only had one major outbreak of thunderstorms, and that was a good few weeks ago now. Uh, not had too much some years like i think it was 2022 we had a lot of thunderstorms around i remember making frequent videos throughout june july and august um, most weeks we had outbreaks of thunderstorms uh, again it does coincide with a generally very hot summer of course we saw 40 degrees that summer as well so it does look like this summer is a little bit less um exciting at the moment but things could spice up if this pattern does come off so anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.